ladies and gentlemen this is galaxy s7 today got an update of no good 7 yes this was the most aw awaited refreshment since a long time it's been 11 months uh, that samsung galaxy 7 has been introduced into the market and this device is actually 11 month old device and this was bought the day it was launched today it has got the biggest refreshment uh, as far as operating system is concerned and i'm just quickly gonna run through top 10 things that should really bother you uh, as far as enhancement is concerned with this. Number one, I'll start right from the lock screen. What you see in front of you is the always on display. I'm sure if you're a Samsung Galaxy S7 user, for most of the time, you will keep this feature on. What you now see is uh, at the bottom, there, is, there are small logos. What, what you see is a message logo and a WhatsApp logo. So if in case you have a missed call, it will come, appear, uh, the missed call logo will appear or email notification or any other application notification will appear right on your always display screen. The best part is now you don't really have to unlock the phone and go and read your unread messages. All you need to do is tap on those small logos. So for example, here I want to tap it on message. I just tap it, it will ask for my fingerprint and it will directly take me to the message application. I think that's that's a really good enhancement right from the lock screen. Now you can directly go to the application that you want. Um, also, one more thing to notice is your finger tap will not really work anywhere that on the screen. Only if you tap on the notification area, that is where you will be able to unlock it. I think that's a really nice feature. Number two the notification bar. If you see, they have redesigned the entire notification bar. They have compressed the logo, now able to accommodate more logos in it, which is a nice thing done. Um, also, they have also changed the background color of it, uh, which is in my mind, not a, uh, I, I would have preferred the earlier color combination. But nevertheless, in the search bar, now they have added the search option. Yes, the moment you, uh, uh, you tap on it, uh, you can type whatever you're looking for. You may be looking out for an application, you may be looking out for any content in your device, so you can search right from there, just like iPhone. What it also automatically does is, the quick connect is smart enough to go ahead and quickly switch on the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi in the background, look for devices around, and if there are any trusted devices, it will automatically latch onto it. Now that's a smart work done, because the moment you go back, the Bluetooth automatically switches off. So you don't really have to manually go ahead and switch on uh, the Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth uh, for you to go ahead and connect the device. Now this device itself is smart enough to go ahead and understand that requirement. Another great thing added uh, in your notification uh, menu is the blue light filter, guys. All this while this was introduced in Kindle application or a Kindle device. Just to let you know how it helps you, is uh, I'm sure uh, uh, with Samsung Galaxy S7 with a bigger screen, you do a lot of uh, your work and reading emails, or reading your messages, and for that matter, reading books. You do it over the phone. Uh, during, na during nighttime or during dark light, it is always suggested that you switch on the blue light filter because what it does is it removes the layer of a blue light from the screen, which doesn't really put a lot of constraint on your eyes. So you're eyes are most you know gets a more soothing experience while reading any content in a dark light another new thing that is added uh, is uh, the performance mode yes once you go here uh, this is for the first time samsung is allowing you to go ahead and customize the screen resolution it never allowed you back in days right what is what it now allows you is to lower the screen resolution from a wqhd to a full hd or to a 720p resolution guys this is a revolutionary feature that samsung has now offered you to do it it helps you to save battery drastically. In my personal opinion, the testing that I've been conducting for past three days, a WQHD resolution demands 20 minutes of more battery uh, than uh, 720p. So if I keep the resolution to 720p and use it throughout the day, I get about, uh, I get about more 20 to 25 minutes of screen display on. I think that's a good job done because I even if you keep it 720p and if you're just using the menu and a phone feature and WhatsApp email, it doesn't really impact 
but for high-end gaming probably you will not then need to switch it to WQHD. So as far as search is concerned, uh, they have now, uh, when you go to the menu, the search app is very subtle and redesigned. Now you, it is also voice enabled so you can look for the application that are installed uh, by not typing but just by talking. But uh, at the same time you can also type for the application that you're looking for. So the, it, it's a small enhancement but I think uh, a useful enhancement that is added there. Another big thing that was added uh, in Nogut 7 was uh, the camera. This time uh, they have really cleaned the interface of the camera. All you have to do is swipe it to the right, you get the menu, and swipe it to the left, and you get the several filter options that are available in the camera. The best thing that they have now done, which I've been looking for a long time, is when you go into the selfie mode, guys, uh, it's now, um, uh, it, you know, you can just click the image by tapping on it. You don't really have to look or hunt for the click button, but just tap anywhere on the screen and it clicks the selfie. Uh, that, was, uh, that was a small improvement, but very, very useful. As far as folder view is concerned, I'm sure with such a big screen uh, for you to organize a lot of application, a lot of us go ahead and create the folder uh, on the home screen itself. This time around, if you see, the folder is very clean. Uh, the background color is gone. The backdrop that earlier was blurred out is now erased. And um, I think it is a very nice interface, clean interface that they have put it. Uh, you can also go ahead and change the folder color that you want. So in this case, it's blue. So yes, that can be customized in the setting. This is another place that all of us very frequently visit. Setting um, has been revamped. It has been redesigned. Uh, the logos have changed, the backdrop has changed, and now um, the categorization of all the setting option is even streamlined. The, not much added here, but uh, uh, the device maintenance option now allows you to go ahead and defend your phone from the viruses. Yes, it has, has now got the inbuilt antivirus system provided by Intel, which is smart enough to go ahead and protect your phone, uh, phone from any malware, or viruses. I think that is now inbuilt application and you don't really have to hunt for a third party application which is paid obviously in nature. So guys, this was my observation on the features that are added in Nogut 7 which should really go ahead and bother you or impact in your day to day life. Uh, in my opinion, all the changes that have been introduced are very positive in nature and will eventually go ahead and save your time and battery at the same time, uh, if you want to upgrade the, uh, to Nogut 7, uh, it is around uh, 1200 MB update. So uh, it, is, it is available in the entire Asia market now. So you can just go ahead and check for the software update and get it updated as soon as possible. I highly recommend you go ahead, erase out your phone, get it back to the factory setting and then install the application or the updates that you have. I did try uh, with a normal OTA upgrade on the Air upgrade and the phone um, gave me a lot of issues after the update. So it is recommended you put it on a factory reset and then go ahead and update the application. That is all from my end guys. And if you have any questions or comment, please put it down and I will be more than happy to answer all of your queries. Till then, see ya and have a great life.